I may not speak about very popular things. I think there are some teachers out there that teach about 10 ways on how to become blessed, like very positive things. I think in this time, we should be speaking about what people are doing wrong because I think there are so many of us, let's say, I believe, excuse me, there are more people doing wrong than right. What would you rather have? Wouldn't you want someone to tell you what you should change? Other than someone telling you some things that are kind of twisted, then you may believe in your mind you are right with God and let's say you continue doing wrong, then die and go to hell. So, listening to messages that will only make you happy, that may not be good for many of us. Because if we feel comfortable with doing what is wrong, aren't we headed down a bad road? Right? Let me say this, and I am not trying to offend anyone. I think so many people claim to be Christian. For instance, how can I claim to be a basketball player when it has been so long since I have played basketball. How can I claim to be a hockey player when I don't play hockey? I don't even go by the rules of hockey. How can I claim to be something that I don't even participate in? Please think about that. How can you claim to be a chess champion when you don't know how to play chess, you really never play chess, but you are going around telling people you are a chess champion. Aren't you a fraud? Right? I know that everyone is not going to do I believe everyone is not going to do everything right, okay. But if you are choosing willfully disobeying God, how can you claim to be Christian? I think there are some people that may be in ignorance, okay. I don't know everything myself as well. But even still, there should be something Excuse me. Even still, I believe there should be something that is showing that you are willing to learn, like you are willing to change, like there should be, I believe there should be something that it is showing that you are trying to do the right thing. I believe all of that to be true. If I am choosing to not pray, not fast, not read the Bible, not follow God's rules, how can I claim to be Christian? Some people may not know some things are wrong, but how can I know if I am a woman, thank God I am not, 
and I don't want to be either. If I am a woman, if I know wearing very tight clothes on my body is a bad thing, revealing my breasts behind or whatever, if I know that is wrong, and if I do it anyway, and probably doing other things wrong as well, how can I claim to be Christian? If I am trying to seduce people in a sexual way, how can I claim to be Christian? Aren't I of the devil? Look now, if you want to play around with demonic stuff, if you want to do wrong, stop claiming to be Christian. Just do wrong. Don't say you are of Christ and do what you are doing. I am talking about the people, if you are a person who, who is purposely doing wrong, like you don't really care about changing, you just want to do wrong. Stop claiming to be Christian. Right? If you are striving for perfection, which I am as well, okay, that is one thing. But if you are choosing to do what is wrong, stop calling yourself Christian. Because what if, what if there is an ex-witch or someone who is doing so much wrong and they want to change and let's say you are a false Christian and the ex-witch or whatever wants to change and they heard that you are a Christian, what if they come to you seeking for advice or how to change? Won't you lead that person the wrong way? Some people may say they know many things about God and they can sin and teach people about God. Let me say this. From my experiences, I think many people, yes, they may listen to what you say, but I believe many people are going to look at what you do. So if what you say don't match what you do, what do you believe many people would do? Probably ignore you. Or maybe say, hey, all Christians are hypocrites. So, I would say you would be a false witness, right? Or you will be something to where you may lead some people astray. Wasn't the Pharisees like that? I, I, I guess they taught the law. But didn't many of them, or all of them, lived in a way contrary to much of the law? I believe so. And I forget which book it was, but I think the book of Matthew probably. I believe where some of the Pharisees, or all of them, were leading people astray or making the person worse. We don't want to be that way. We shouldn't, let me say it like that, we shouldn't want to lead people astray, like myself. I believe I have influence on some people. So if I go to sin, that may discourage some people and they may fall too. They may go back to sin too. So in a way, I guess I can say, I am not only living for 
God for myself, but for other people, because I have to be an example. If you aren't an example, stop claiming to be Christian. Like, keep it silent or something like that. Don't go around teaching if you are consistently having trouble with doing the right thing because because if look now i think there are some people in with this stuff going around this world i think some churches are closed but i think some people had or have a mind frame act holy while you are at church and act like the devil when you are out of the church. Like this, is it called double-minded? Don't be a person to lead people astray. I don't want to be that way. So I hope all of this makes sense. I pray all of this makes sense. If you are not a good witness, stop teaching people. Do you know what I mean? Not to say you are going to do everything perfect, but if you know that you are living a double life, get yourself right first before you begin teaching or telling people about God, right? Because if you are having trouble with something, how can you help that person out of the trouble they are in? Like, if, let me not say myself because death in life is in the power of the tongue, if I am saying that right. If Tommy has a broken arm, and let's say Frank has no hands. This may be a bad example. <laughs> How can Frank help Tommy when <laughs> he has no hands? If I am doing wrong and you are doing wrong, how can I help you? Isn't that like me having no hands to fix your broken arm? Man, let me stop here. God bless you.